Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Well, it's been just a few days since I made my last video. I uh, have been busy helping the wife with Christmas presents and wrapping Christmas presents and all of that. Uh, I kind of cheated in a bunch of the Christmas presents I ordered. I snuck something in for myself. And that's what we're going to talk about tonight. But uh, before I get into that, I want to go over the modifications I made to the Columbia River Knife and Tool Woods Chogan. I know some of you can probably see it over my shoulder here. Oh, my wife got one of her Christmas presents early, and it was a wood burner. Well, she has been busy with it since she got it. I'm tickled to death that she actually likes it. So <clears throat> that watching her work with that just tickles me. <clears throat> but uh, one of the modifications I made to it, I had marked it off half inch, inch, all the way up to 12 inches and had her burn that in. I also put a mark on the other side for my little ammo can stove as far as how long a piece of wood will fit in it. That way when I'm cutting wood for it, I've got a quick reference to measure so that I don't get the wood too long to fit in there. Well, while that was going on, she also got creative and marked the tomahawk for me. So I appreciate her doing that greatly. She put the channel's initials on there for me. Uh, I stripped the finish off of the head and took cold blue and blued it. The handle, I sanded it down, took the original finish off of it, restained it, took a torch, and put the spiral burn on it with a torch, and then that's it. Uh, I need to sharpen it up. It's gotten dull, but uh, I told you in the last video I had some stuff coming for it that just hadn't got to yet. Well, that's what I was doing, and my wife got ingenious with her wood burning and went to town with it. So, uh, now, the piece that I snuck in for myself. The Cold Steel Spessonage Shovel. I'd been wanting a little shovel to take with me when I go out. Um, the only thing that I had, I had a six, 1965 military folding shovel that had the big long handle on it. I also got one of the newer folding shovels that folds up in three pieces. I just didn't like it when I had to use it. And I wanted something small that I could pack with me. And this is what I decided to try. Um, I've watched a lot of videos on these things where people use them to chop with, they throw them, all that kind of stuff. But uh, the thing I liked with this is the actual size of it. I mean, it's not real, real big. Oh, to give you an idea. size comparison there's the RTAC versus the shovel so there's not a lot of differences in the length the RTAC if I remember right is like 16 and a half inches roughly where the shovels 19 and a half so there's only about three inches difference there oh well let's get into the shovel itself the overall length on it's 19 and a half inches. The weight on it is 25.7. I got a cheat sheet over here. It's 25.7 ounces. The head 
is two millimeter thick mild carbon or medium carbon steel is what it the channel says when you look it up the specs on cold steel's website it doesn't say what kind it just says medium carbon steel uh, the handle is hickory one thing i like about the handle is the handle is replaceable and how you replace it you see those two screws right there that's all that holds that handle in so it's not a friction fit or anything like that those screws are what holds it together there's no rivets through it like on some of the old gi handles they had just a rip a metal pin through it that was pinged out round on both ends this one here you can actually take those screws out take this handle out stick a new one in there put those screws back in it and you're good to go they do make this now with a longer handle i think the other one the handle is about oh, that much longer good foot longer or so i didn't look at the exact specs on it but they do make one with a long handle in it now i'm really looking forward to getting this out and using it Like I said, I've used the GI shovel a lot, and the one with the handle in it, I like it. With the wooden handle in it from 65, I like it, but it's so freaking heavy. And the newer version that folds into three sections is lighter, but I don't like having that big loop at the bottom end of it instead of having a regular handle. So... <clears throat> Looking forward to getting this out and using it. Looking forward to maybe seeing how it does chop, seeing how it splits wood and go from there. But you always need something to dig with when you go out, especially if you're going to stay out for a couple of days. Um, probably going to end up getting one of the sheaths that are made for this. They are, if I remember correct, Molly compatible. So you can just molly it to your backpack and there you go. It's good to go. But I'll uh, get out, get some use on this, hopefully sometime soon. Um, right now it is about 25 degrees outside and a little after 1 a.m. in the morning. So won't be any time right now. I've got to work this weekend, but next week's my short week, so I'll try to get out and tinker with it some in the backyard next week. Um, we <laughs> it had some snow, if you want to call it that. Uh, the only place that it showed up was on anything above ground. And by that, what I mean is the porch, the deck, the cars, they had a little dusting of snow on it that was it it wasn't even enough that you could look at the grass and tell that it even done anything most of what we got out of this was rain um, some pump still running trying to pump all the water out from underneath the house but uh i'll uh, get some more video up on using this shovel let you know what i think of it once i get to using it and uh, i'll see you soon thanks for watching like share subscribe and i'll Get another one up for you soon.